Hello, my name is Frank Mazzella. I'm the Learning Products Manager for Vision Research. I'm here to present a series of PCC Phantom Camera Control Software Tutorials intended to show you many of the various features and processes incorporated in PCC. At the end of this tutorial, Cine Analysis Part 9 Reviewing Report Files, you will be able to review report files created using the measurement analysis features in the PCC software. Let's start by closing the PCC application, then using my Windows Explorer, I'll navigate to the folder where the report files were written, the C colon program file, Phantom, Cine's, Tutorial Cine's folder. and open the Distance, Angle, Speed, Origin 1 Point Test 1 or DASO 1PT1 file. If this were the first time I opened a report or .rep file, I would want to associate all files with the .rep file extension so they open with Microsoft Excel. To do this, I would right click the file, select the Open With command and select the Choose Default Program option. In the Open With dialog window, I'll select Microsoft Excel in the Recommended Programs area. If it is not listed, I would need to click the Browse button and navigate to the folder where the Excel executable file resides. For me, it's my C colon program files x86 Microsoft Office Office 14 folder. and select the Excel.exe file and click the Open button. Since I always want files with the .rep extension to open in Excel, I'm going to enable the Always Use the Selected Program to Open This Kind of File option and click the OK button. Notice all the .rep files are now bound to Microsoft Excel. Now, Let's talk about the report file that was created during the Cine Analysis Part 3 Distance, Angle, Speed, Origin Plus One Point tutorial. To format the file into easy to read columns, I'm going to highlight from the first line cell to the last comment cell. Then click on the data command and select the text to columns option. In the convert text to columns wizard dialog window, I'm going to select the limited then click the Next button. In the Delimiters Options area, I'm going to enable the Comma and Space options and click the Next button. I'm going to leave the Column Data Format option as is and click the Finish button. Lastly, I'm going to format the cells so the information is aligned to the left of each cell. Notice the report provides us with the type of report this is, along with the title, analyst, station, and lens information I entered in the Setup for Measurement Report File dialog window when I created the report file. It also provides the name and location of the CINI file the measurements were performed on, how the units of measure were defined, the scale factor based on the calibration procedure performed during the measurement procedure, the origin point in pixels, the date and time the report was generated, a line or distant measurement with the speed measurement, and an angle measurement along with the angular speed measurement, followed by the user entered comment about the measurement. It also shows the time from trigger the time difference in seconds of the image the measurement was taken on from the moment the camera was triggered, along with the absolute time of the image the measurement was taken on. 
So that's what an instant measurement report looks like. Now, let's take a look at the collect point report file. The collect point file displays the number of points being collected per image, along with the name and location of the file the points were collected from, in the first line of the report. Then it shows the image number the points were collected from, the time from trigger the image was taken, the x and y coordinates of the points, point 0 and point 1, and in this case, the absolute time the image was taken. The speed and acceleration files can be opened and formatted the same way. So that concludes the CINE analysis tutorials, where we walk through the steps to specify the units of measure, perform timing measurements, calibrate a measurement scale, set an origin point, perform coordinate, distance, angle, and speed measurements using the origin and one point or two points, perform angle and angular speed measurements using three points or four points, perform collect point tracking measurements, and generate and view various report files. For in-depth Phantom Operations, Vision Research offers Phantom Operations certification training. Please visit our training webpage at www.phantomhighspeed.com Service Support Training or contact your local sales representative who can be found on our website under the Contact Us pull-down selection list for more information about our training sessions or for Phantom Cameras in general.